you don't have yours, I'll... I tried a glass cutting method in this CRT by scoring it with the uh, bottle cutter and blow torching it and putting cold water on it and that didn't seem to work. So my next plan of attack was to use um, a thin cutting wheel as in a proper cutting wheel used for metal or steel. I cut, I cut right along the um, where it's, uh, the glass is actually glued together. So where there's some um, silica glue is, you cut right on that, on that as you can get it. You might have to go on the um, overlap off a bit, but cut right on that, you can see there, I've got a, good, I've got a really good cut there here. The corners are the hardest bits because it tends to stress down that way, but the implosion band stops that. So you can see the glass just cracks along where I've um, cut it, and stresses along this uh, glue line. So that's actually working out quite well. All I've got to do now is just uh, carefully, carefully dong it. There we go. Slowly, slowly, I can recover the um, screen intact. I can grind a little bit of that, as long as it um, bakes cleanly. I can uh, file all that down and clean it up and get all the sharp edges off. This will make a bloody epic blast shield. There's a getter, the electron guns. Red, green and blue guns. So I can break that down to fit in that little bucket. It's pretty weak glass. Low quality glass, this. It's only designed for a CIT, so it's not designed for any structural purpose. There's a shadow mask. Well, look at that. That was actually quite easily, easily done. Very really carefully pick up the broken bits. It's 10 millimeters thick. Not the best place to do it because I chucked the backs in and out of here, so I've got to clean up every little bit of glass when I'm finished. I don't get any punches. And these just uh, squeeze those and they just clip off, and that should just lift out. That's working out quite well so far. That'll clean up quite well. That's actually broken away quite well there. The uh, shadow mask came out quite well. You can see it's not actually a flat profile, so there's that old CIT profile to it. I always thought the um, shadow mask would be completely flat like the screen, but obviously not, because the inside of the uh, screen has that uh, the old characteristic. It's just the outer glass edge that's flat. But there you go, and that's a movie day. As you can see, it almost got a good uh, break all the way around, so that's what you want to look for, have this uh, glue remain, have a nice edge all the way around, but the corners are pretty bloody hard to do. Leave the implosion band intact. That protects your screen from getting um, damaged. That's the part you want to salvage. That's not going to come off. It's cracked, but it shouldn't come off. Now get this video off. Perfect. That will all file down. Very carefully pick these up. Watch the edges. There we go, we've got a... Oh, that's a bloody heavy bit of glass. All right, I can file that down now. See if the belt sander can do it. And clean up the mess, and that's it. I have a nice blast shield. Awesome. Okay, viewers, I decided to use a linishing disc. Seems to work quite well for glass. Minimum dust too, so I'm surprised at how low the dust level was. It's a dangerous thing about glass, you gotta watch that silica dust, it's not good for you. And I was cutting it up to upwind, so it was blowing away for me to be extra cautious. You can use a new one, but I find a, a, a well used one's better because it's actually smooth, because this may tend to chatter and chip the glass. So, use an older one that's been well used, and that seems to have done the trick. It's actually worked quite effective at smoothing down all those hazardous, dangerous, sharp edges. Carefully run my hand over that. I don't feel any snagging on my skin, so it doesn't want to cut. I'll probably do a little bit more there, I think. I'll do a little bit more there. Quite on that edge there, down. Feels quite rounded. Actually worked quite well to go on all these edges off. You now I want to press hard to go lightly to round those edges off. What a great method. Okay, viewers, I get those phosphors off. I just get the spoil concrete cleaner here. 
Now I'll cut through all those phosphors. So once I've done that, give it a good scrubbing with this. Some deck scrubber. Nice hard bristles. There we go. Wipe the picture right off that screen. It's mostly um, aluminium deposits and bits of lead, so you've got to keep it all wet and don't want to make it dust out of it. Keep it all contained. Alright, let's get the concrete cleaner. This will come up quite clean, this uh, screen. Nice and clean now. Okay, so now that I've cleaned up the gunk off it, you can see that people have, um, have actually piffed rocks and stuff at it. They've chipped the bloody screen, unfortunately, so I'm not too worried about that. There's a chip there, some scuff marks there, someone's hit it with a blunt object, and a chip there. That's a bloody good screen saver. What a way to save a screen, literally. Literally a safer screen. Didn't make too much of a mess with the phosphorus either, so it's good. Yeah, it's tinted. I could use it as a redneck window. Yeah, who needs tinted windows? Okay, viewers, so I will set this around to dry and give it a bit of a buff for the rag to get the rest of that phosphor material off and see how it looks. Okay, viewers, I'm struggling with fingers along that. It's got somewhat of graphite or lead coating remaining. So. That lead should eventually buff off. It's pretty darn good. It's about that thick, an inch thick in the corners and about 12 millimetres. Just over a centimetre thick in the middle. So it's quite a bloody heavy duty bit of glass, this. The only thing I've got to worry about is this implosion protection being rusty. Because it's not designed for the elements, it's only designed to sit inside a dry environment. You can see a bit of uh, spot water up there. It started to wobble a bit, it's actually come off the screen a bit here. I'm happy with how this has worked out. This will make a great glass shield. We're going to make some sort of stand to go from there to there, and there to there. The stand with legs. And your sub deck will sit in there, and this will protect me. You might not be enough for now. Thanks for watching.